Hey, what's going on there everyone? Today's video is going to be covering how to secure your Bungie Cord network. If you are familiar with setting up a Bungie Cord or if you do need help doing that, you can watch my video on the top right hand corner of the screen. But as you know, when you're adding servers to Bungie Cord, they do need to be in the offline mode. So this can actually be bypassed with hackers using specific clients and then hackers can, you know, get in using your username, which is an opt account, and then they can, you know, opt their friends, they can mess up your whole servers. So we're going to be using a very simple plugin called Bungie Guard. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and download Bungie Guard. That link will be down in the description. It needs to be placed in your Bungie Cord folder as well as any type of other backend servers that you have. And make sure you are running Paper 1.9.4 or if you're running something like 1.8, you also need to have Protocol Lib installed as well. So just be aware of that depending on whatever type of version that you're running. In my case, I have uh, two servers and then my bungee. So here we have the bridge and then we have a hub and here is my bungee cord. So go ahead and install all those plugins, restart your server, generate your bungee guard config. Then you want to go to your bungee cord plugins folder and here is your bungee guard. There's going to be a single token.yml. Go in there and you're going to be copying this token. And then on the rest of your backend servers, uh, go into your plugins folder and the bungee guard and in the config.yml, this is where you're going to be placing that bungee cord token in here, all right? So you want to remove these brackets and then you can remove the comment over here and just paste in your token uh, within the specific quotes. So there we go. Now we can paste that in. You can change the messages right here and we'll, if you want to change it, you can. And go ahead and save that and that's pretty much it. And then you're going to be doing that on all the backend servers, as I said. So we'll go into our plugins folder, bungee guard, config, remove the comment right here. Remember to also remove the brackets up top there and then go ahead and just slap that token in. And there we go. So you're pretty much set and we can restart our servers, make sure all the everything is all set. You can restart the Bungie Cord server if you want to, but it's not really needed. Today's video sponsor is the Sangata Marketplace, and if you are looking for any type of unique or custom plugin for your Minecraft server, there is quite a bit of selection over there, so make sure you guys go check them out using the link down in the description, and you can find some great plugins for your server. So after your servers have been successfully restarted, I'm going to head and test it out with trying to join directly to the backend servers. So if we go ahead and join, there we go, as we see that message unable to authenticate, that means that it is working properly. I'm going to switch over to my hub, we'll copy that specific IP address, and we'll try to join that one to make sure, there we go, everything is working. And then just one more step, we want to make sure that we can actually join our Bungie Cord server. So let's go ahead and enter that IP address and we should be good to go. So we are loading the terrain and there we go. We are now in our Bungie Cord server. So that is how you protect your Bungie Cord network and the backend servers using this plugin. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.